Hey friends, tonight we are checking into Disney's Riviera Resort for a little staycation. We're going to be staying in a one bedroom villa with a preferred view, which I think is a firework view. And then we're going to grab a bite to eat down at Bar Riva because they have a brand new menu. I'll give you the grand room tour and show you all the resort amenities and just have a beautiful Riviera kind of day. Anywho, let's go do this. And here it is, Disney's Riviera Resort, the newest Walt Disney World Resort, and in my opinion, the fanciest one too. Honestly, I really feel like this is the fanciest resort on property right now. A lot of them are going through refurbishments, but this one right here, standing as is, it's absolutely breathtaking. When I say fancy, I mean like luxurious. Like the, it is absolutely beautiful here. The rooms are immaculate. Everything is up to date. And the balconies have these like beautiful hidden Mickeys on the railings. And I just love it here. I know a lot of resorts are going through some refurbishments right, right now, but this one as is, is like the most up to date luxurious rooms because it's the newest Walt Disney World Resort. We're gonna make our way up to the room. We're all checked in. And then I wanna grab some coffee and some light snacks. They have some amazing food service like locations here. They have multiple ones. And one of the best ones you could find is the restaurant that they have all the way at the top, Topolino's. I don't think we're gonna be able to eat there today, but I have eaten there many of times and it is absolutely amazing. One of the things I don't like about this resort, and there's not many, like I really do love this resort, is its lobby. It's like a very dinky lobby. And going to a bunch of different Disney resorts, like I love walking into the Grand Floridian and the Wilderness Lodge, and it's this like big lobby. But here, it's like very tiny, it's very strange. This is the lobby itself, but I do have to say, even though it is small, it does have a lot to offer. It has like a little gift shop over there, and then it has a La Petite Cafe, which is a great spot to get a coffee. And I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna grab a quick coffee, maybe a little snacky poo before we head up and I'll give you the grand room tour. Since it's October, I think I'm gonna get myself a little pumpkin cold brew. They do have some desserts here, but I hear that there's a really interesting cookie uh, downstairs, so I think I'll wait to get that instead. Right now, I'm just gonna stick to the coffee. Usually, I get the lemon madelines, and look at these little things. Aren't they so precious? But like I said, there's a new cookie in town that we gotta try, but they do have some pumpkin mousse items over here. So you got a uh, pumpkin mousse right there and then the lemon cheesecake and a fruit tart. See, lots of really good stuff. Cheers to a little pumpkin coffee, and then we're gonna head up to the room, but I gotta give it the taste test first. That's good, very pumpkin-y, I like it. As you're roaming the halls, you'll find tons of awesome pictures of Walt Disney. Look at them right here. Like, I love these photos. In fact, if I can get some prints, I might want to hang these in my house in the future. Like this one right here, doesn't Walt look like a gangster right there? <laughs> He's looking straight up like a gangster, and I love it. And then we got Mickey over here. These are so beautiful. Like, every time I look at them, you got them looking like a gangster, and then kind of like Tony Stark right in that picture right there. I like it. All right, we have made it to our room. I went in and turned on all the lights and let me tell you guys something. This is an amazing room. We are staying in a one bedroom villa and it is absolutely amazing. Thank you to the world of DVC. They actually gave me this room uh, and I am like kind of like shocked on how beautiful it is. Like it is absolutely stunning and uh it's got an amazing view too it's it's the total package remember when i said this is probably the fanciest resort well i stand by that and if you guys can tell me a more fancier resort please let me know in the comments because this just screams luxurious to me Look at it in here. This is the living room. Now, like I said, it's a one bedroom villa. Look at these chairs. Like, I, I just wanna sit on everything. There's so many places you can sit and everything has hidden Mickeys. Look at the pillows. We'll get to that day bed right there or the, the Murphy bed, but you got Beauty and the Beast right up there. You've got Mickey and Minnie. It is so breathtaking in here. You have another bed under here, which I gotta show you this bed, hold on. 
Look at that. Isn't that so nice? And then he got a TV. He got a full kitchen, huge. Look at all this space. And then look at the little kitchen area. He got a dining room table. And like I said, all these chairs are just so cool looking. I love all of it. King of the castle, king of the castle. I have a chair, I have a chair. How many chairs do you need in a resort room? Like this is insane. I count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven different types of chairs in one, in one room. Seven different types of chairs in one room. As I was rearranging all the furniture, I noticed some unique storage space over here. Look at this. <laughs> this is crazy. This is, does this really open? Oh my lord, it does. I'm telling you. And you can, you can actually sleep here too. Like there is so much space and we only got into the kitchen. Like we still have a whole nother room to get to. Now I'll give you a look at some of the kitchen area. You got an up-to-date, an updated dishwasher. Tons of, tons of space. You got a whole toaster. Not too many places give you a toaster. One of the fancy coffee machines. The good stuff, they give you the fine china in here, no paper plates, a full stove. Got some things down here. Got a full fridge, a big fridge with a freezer, an ice maker. Is the ice maker on? I always wonder about this. Let the ice begin. Enough of the kitchen and the living room area, but I will come back to show you guys the Murphy bed. Now let's get into the bedroom and the bathrooms. Plural, rooms. I'm gonna go back to where I started the video and just give you a walking tour as we walk through. Now this is the door that you come in. As soon as you come in, I like to call this a little cell phone table because you can just put your stuff there. And then to the left, this is where it gets interesting. This is where it gets interesting. We've got a gigantic closet on this side. It's a big closet. Then we've got a full washer and dryer. Comes with some detergent. And this is one of the last H2O detergents they probably are gonna have for a while. I don't know when they plan on discontinuing, but I'm putting it in my pocket now so I don't forget. Comes with a collapsible laundry basket. And then here is the bathroom, the first bathroom. And look at this. Isn't this fancy? Like it is so nice in here. You got a beautiful walk, walk-in shower. It's got like that rain, you know, the rain effect right here. Look at this. It's huge. And then you have a gigantic, like jacuzzi bathtub. This is, I mean, I'm not even kidding folks. Look at this in the hair. It's, it's beautiful. It is a gigantic bathroom. That's why I say, cause it's more than one room and they have the little separators too. Ooh, oh, they have really fancy separators. Seven chairs, multiple closets, multiple bathrooms and some fancy doors. Like these doors are really, really nice. Look at these bathroom doors. Oh, I like it a lot. And now we're in the bedroom. Where you are in the bedroom. It's so nice. The headboard up here, it's got a bunch of hidden Mickeys in it. I don't know if you can see it right there. I've actually seen these headboards for sale at Forever Vintage. The only thing is, and I'm just gonna say it, doesn't seem like a lot of space underneath the bed. I mean, there's no storage space, like they don't have any drawers, but not a lot of space there. I stand corrected, there's space. They also have a nice little dresser in the bedroom too, along with a TV and more closets. Look at this, this closet's probably really big in here. Oh yeah, tons and tons of room in the closet. They got clothes hangers and some storage back here and just, I don't know, overall, nice, very good. All right, enough of the room tour. Let's get to the good stuff. Let's get to the Murphy bed and the balcony. And this is a preferred view. So we're gonna see some theme parks. Like, it's kind of like when they say preferred view, it's more like 
theme park view and I don't even know if we're gonna be able to see fireworks it might be a firework view too so I mean I'm excited here is the Murphy bed I'm excited I'm hoping it's Dalmatians though because in the studios they have Dalmatians but I'm not too sure what they have here let's see well it's not it's Peter Pan Ooh, trying to lower this down with one hand it's not easy there we go that is nice isn't it in the studio one they have a little pongo on a bed and it's so beautiful but the thing i love about these murphy beds is how they have these little storage cells in here and then they have little chargers too look at that seriously this whole room is gigantic you could probably sleep i would say like 20 people in here it's hard for me to say what my favorite like little mural is either on the day beds or the murphy beds but Honestly, the Dalmatian one that's in like the little studio at here at Riviera might be my favorite. I honestly, I think it is. As we make our way out to the balcony, I wanted to show you the hidden Mickeys in the curtains here. Look at this. You see them? Isn't that so cool? And then here is the balcony that I was talking about with the uh, preferred view. And I always point out the Mickey right here because it's so amazing. Beautiful, right? And look at this. Look at this view. It is breathtaking. You get the Skyliner, the Tower of Terror. You get Epcot right there. And then, uh-oh, I'm losing focus. There we go. And then I'm pretty sure we're going to watch the fireworks head on right here. And it's going to be breathtaking. I want to try to make it back up here to see if we can watch the fireworks from the balcony. And maybe do a little time lapse. But... I do need to get something to eat and the Riviera just started serving a new menu down at one of its quick service locations. So I think we're going to head down there. I'm with my friend Kristen actually uh, right down Main Street and I think we're going to go try some of the new food. You know, the room is amazing though. It's absolutely breathtaking and I love staying here. Like, it's, it's, it's stunning. <laughs> I'm not too sure how it's gonna come out, but I set up the GoPro and we're gonna try to catch the sunset since we're going to get something to eat. It's doing its thing there. It's hanging on, living on the edge, <laughs> living on the edge, like literally. And uh, I hope you enjoy it. I'll probably insert it in right now. So that's what Epcot is, an experimental prototype community that will always be in a state of becoming. I hope that came out as beautiful as I imagined. And now we are down on the main floor. We're gonna check out all the different resort amenities, maybe hit up the pool later on, maybe grab some drinks and just enjoy. We got some bocce ball over here. This is one of the quick service locations, but where I think we're going to first is Bar Riva, which is on the other side. It's kind of like a little pool bar, I, I feel like that is the pool bar because I don't have a, a bar by the pool. But uh, this place is really good too. Here it is, Bar Riva. And it's right next to the pool. And I kind of want to go down that water side there. It looks really fancy. The whole pool looks really nice. So that might be on the agenda a little bit later on. Right now, drinks and some snacks are definitely in order. Here is a look at the food and most of these items are brand new. They've got baked brie, they've got mushroom arancini, they've got salmon with orazio. And you know, my uncle's name was Orazio, so I call that Orazio. His name was Orazio and we called him Uncle Ori for short. And I love it. And I used to think like he was named after the pasta, but that is not the case at all. And uh, they also have some sticky wings. And I think I'm gonna get the sticky wings. And Kristen, what are you getting? I am getting the orangini and the salmon because I heard they were both really good. Oh, so. the salmon. Oh, yes. Very good. Well, I'm, I'm excited. Can I get you to try a piece of salmon? No. No. That is never <laughs> happening. I mean, I've tried salmon before. I'm just not a fan. Uh, it's not a fan of the salmon. I love salmon. The slam and salmon. Slamming. <laughs> Most of these items just started today, so I'm excited to try some of them. And I got the sticky wings because I thought it was a safe bet, but they said they can be a little bit spicy, so I'm a little nervous. I eat my wings mild and uh, not really good with hot food, so we'll see how that goes. But we got some drinks to start. Cheers. What did you get? I have no clue. A fruity beverage. That's all I know. And it tastes good. I got a little old-fashioned. A fancy old-fashioned in a plastic cup. 
I really don't have high expectations for the old fashioned if it's not served with a single ice cube and in a fancy glass, but we'll give it a go anyway. Actually, it's very good. It's actually very smooth. I mean, it's made with the good old Woodford, but, and also they don't got the right cherries in there, but it's actually very good. So kudos to the bartender for making something with what he's got. And now the wings have arrived and look at these. Look at these things. They look so pretty. I don't know, it's not like a buffalo sauce. I don't know what's going on there. They look very sticky, but I'm excited to try them. They, like I said, there is a little bit of a kick and it gets served with a little aioli on the side there and some radishes on top. All right, we're going for it. Hopefully they're not too spicy. I'm gonna try to focus in on it. Look at that. They look sticky. Sticky wingy, me Tommy, me want wingy, but we're going for it, here we go. Those are good. Wow, it's good wings, holy moly. I'd like to report that my mouth is not burning. The, the spice never hit, so we're good there. And Kristen, you got... I got two of the brand new menu items. Oh, yeah. They just debuted literally today. Um, salmon with orzo. It looks like there's some chickpeas and spinach in there as well. And then some mushroom arancini. They, everything smells amazing and they both came highly recommended from our servers. Very fresh. You want a wingy? I might have to steal a little wing. You're going to have to try a chicken wing. wing. Okay. A little bit of chicken wing. Let's see if they measure up to our, our favorite local spot. Kitties. Not as good as kitties. Not even, like, on a, it's not even a competition, actually. It's not. I wish they were a little crispier. Yeah. But the sauce. The sauce is good. Like a nice little sweet and spicy. There's a little spice there, but not, nothing crazy. At nothing all. crazy. All right, enough of the wing business. Now it's time for dessert, and they have a new cookie. Not here, they have it at the other quick service, but they brought it over for us, and it's really cool because it's a, a mixture of different nuts, like walnuts. I think they call it the Riviera Signature Cookie, and uh, I can't wait to try it. And here it is, the Riviera Signature Cookie, and it's a bunch of uh, different ingredients. It's dried oats, chocolate chips, cherries, walnuts, pistachios, a little bit of everything, and uh, we're gonna try it. I mean, I'm sure it's not gonna be like that good, but who knows, maybe this might be my favorite cookie of all time. Give me your best cookie break there, Kristen. It is, it is pretty warm. Is it? Oh, it's, oh my God, it didn't even break in half, it broke in oh, fours. This that, is a good sign. I was gonna say, that looks like a good sign. I wonder if it's gonna be better than Gideon's. Oh. <laughs> I do love pistachio, so here we go. Wow. That's an amazing cookie, actually. You can literally see the pistachios, the walnuts, and the chocolate chips, and the oats in there. This is a very good... I mean, I like nutty cookies, though, because I'm a nut. <laughs> now it's time we make our way back up to our room and see if the fireworks are like a firework view. It's just about that time we're going to be able to see Epcot. And, uh, yeah, I'm excited to hang out on the balcony, have a drink or two, and maybe catch the fireworks show. As I was making my way back up to my room, I noticed a lot of the open house rooms for the Disney Vacation Club because this resort is a Disney Vacation Club resort. And uh, as I mentioned before, the world of DVC actually gave me the points to stay at this resort. And honestly, like, the world of DVC has you covered on everything DVC. They have the DVC resale market. So if you ever want to reach out and you want to, you know, we're thinking about buying Disney Vacation Club, you can actually rent points and you can see what it's like first. And then also they even do uh, resale. So you can buy a Disney Vacation Club resale and save thousands of dollars through them. So I'll put all of their links in the description. It's definitely something you want to check out because it will save you thousands if you're looking or interested in buying DVC. I made it back up to the room with one minute to spare. Look at this.
And with that, I think we are done for tonight. I figured we'd call it an early night. Wake up and do something fun in the morning. Maybe breakfast at Topolino's or maybe hit up the pool later on, you know? There's a lot of cool things. I got here a little bit late. My room wasn't ready until 4.30, 5 o'clock, so I lost a lot of time in the daylight. But it was awesome watching those fireworks. They were really amazing. And I would compare those fireworks to, like, Bay Lake Tower. Like, an enchantment. Like, it's, like, right there in your face. And, uh, yeah, like I said, I think we'll call it a night. Wake up early. Have some more fun. So, see you in the morning. Good night. <laughs> And good morning! It was a nice little slumber last night, and I wanted to wake up and get some breakfast. Kristen kept on telling me the best place to get breakfast is at Topolino's, and I've never had breakfast there. I mean, I, I've eaten dinner there plenty of times, and I spent a lot of time up there just hanging out. And uh, I woke up, and I was able to grab a... Uh, walk-up list like reservation because I'm staying at the hotel so I was able to join the walk-up list so I called Kristen I was like Kristen I got the walk-up list for Topolino's and she decided to come over so she's coming back over and we are gonna head to Topolino's I'm gonna do my first time ever uh, breakfast at Topolino's and uh yeah, it should be fun. Like I said, Kristen said it's her favorite dining experience of all, and I've never done it. It's a character dining. Lots of fun characters are coming out, and I think it's all you can eat. I don't know. We'll figure it out, but I'm excited. To start off, I think I'm going to get myself a nice cup of coffee and some endless pog juice. And I like the glasses that they give us. These are very fancy. Well, cheers. Cheers, cheers to your favorite restaurant. Favorite place. Yep. Ooh. The pog juice actually matches my shirt a little bit. Look at that. Very fancy. I also like how they give you your own coffee. Look at this. Ooh, this is really fancy. Fill it all the way up. Nice little creamer pitcher here. Almost looks like a coffee cup on its own. I was trying to make the fanciness. You ever see the baristas when they make that fanciness? I don't think they do it so sloppy or droppy like mine. This breakfast is $45 and it's a character breakfast. So you see Mickey, Minnie, Donald, Daisy all walking around. You get this really nice pastry basket to start off and then it's per entree. But I'm pretty sure I've heard that you can just get as many entrees this as you want. It's kind of like one of those things where it's like, it is all you care to enjoy, but it's not advertised. And uh, it's a good value. Kristen said like it, it's her favorite place. It's her favorite dining experience at Disney. So, I mean, I'm here. It's my first time. I'm, I'm going for it. Here are the pastries. Looks like you got some like jelly or jam or raspberry compo, some Nutella, hazelnut, some butter. And then look at all these things in here. They look so delicious. I'm gonna move this out of the way so I can see what else we got in there. Oh, they all look good. I think there's two each, so we'll have enough for each. Like, one each. One each. These pastries are low-key, like, the best thing here. Everything is handmade. Like, these are handmade. These are not your typical Disney buffet pastries where they're just, like, coming out of the box or anything. Handmade. Handmade. You heard it first. <laughs> kind of looks like it's a nice little croissant and a crumb cake maybe a coffee cake i don't even know and then a little chocolate chip muffin here so we're gonna dive in i, I think i'm gonna start with the croissant and it's cool that you know like kristen said they make these every day like handmade i gotta be careful i don't want to drop my croissant but this looks so good actually wow here comes daisy me mid bite. <laughs> mid bite. <laughs> yeah, oh, you like my shirt? Thank you. And the hat. Yep. I dressed up all fedorable just for you. <laughs> very nice. Are you having a good day? Yeah, oh, good morning. Yes, yeah, very nice. <laughs> oh, Tensione. Who's coming out now? Yeah. Let's give the control. Is it Donald? Is it Donald? Oh, Mickey. Oh, it's Mickey. Oh. <laughs> She's looking for Donald. <laughs> I love that. Oh, thank you, Daisy. <laughs> the chocolate chip waffle is really good. I like the croissant the most, but now it's time to dive into this. And like I said, it's a very crummy, sugary cake. 
Oh, it's kind of like a donut in the bottom there. We're gonna give it a go here. Mmm. Yeah, it reminds me of a coffee cake. I'm gonna need a coffee now. Some coffee and some coffee cake. There he is. There's the man, Mickey himself. Let me see if I can get a picture of you. You look like a true artist with all that paint on. That's what I look like when I'm painting stuff. <laughs> Thank you, pal. I appreciate it. Bye-bye. Also, the pastries are all you can eat. You can eat as many as you want, but you can't take the paint buckets home. I mean, even though I'm sure people are tempted to. Look at this. It's actually heavy, too. I mean, it's really, I mean, I don't think you can sneak that in your purse. You could try. <laughs> Thank you. Keep the pog juice flowing like wine. We got enough for you, my friend. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I love it. Would you guys like some more pastries here? I think she wants a I croissant. Want some more croissants. Croissant? Yeah. Croissant? Croissant? Oh, you almost made me drop my croissant. <laughs> they are right. I love it. Oh, we got a little dancing happening. Thanks, pal. Very nice, very nice, Minnie. Thank you. Minnie, I love your dress. It looks fantastic. Is that your uh, journal? Are you writing some poetry? Yeah? Very fancy. I like it. It looks very good. <laughs> Thank you. I'm excited for breakfast. <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> and here it is, the main event. We ended up getting the steak. It comes with a little polenta. I got potatoes and bread pudding. And then I also got a sour cream waffle. Everything looks so neat and fresh. And then Kristen, you got the avocado toast? Avocado toast here, steak, and a quiche. Look at this. This is a lot of food. I am so excited. The potatoes look fantastic. This, I'm, I'm pumped. <laughs> We're gonna dive into the steak. I'm sure the steak is gonna be good. It's not gonna be like the best steak. It's breakfast steak, uh, but uh, I mean, I'm excited. I mean, steak for breakfast? Hey, steak and eggs. Very good. Look at this steak. Very, very nice. And the polenta in the bottom there, and I can't wait to dive into potatoes too. There's so much going on right now. It's like I don't know where I don't like I don't know where to go. Now it's time to try the potatoes. Look at this. That's a whole baby potato right there. Amazing. So good. Ugh. Now it's time to dive into the bread pudding. And it's not soft bread pudding, which is kind of catching me off guard here. I'm usually thinking like the bread pudding is going to be gooey, but it's actually pretty stuck in there. Now I do love bread pudding, so I'm excited to see what this is like. I don't need all that, just a little bit. Intenzione, everybody. The bread pudding test has begun. The bread pudding is so good. Very firm, a very nice texture. It's not soggy. Like, I'm impressed. I'm impressed with the bread pudding right there. I mean, it's not like Ohana bread pudding level, but it's pretty good. Now it's time to get down to the waffle business. I like how they give you this little syrup cruet here. And we're gonna just put a little syrup on. Not a lot of syrup, just a little tiny bit of syrup because you don't wanna oversaturate it. You wanna keep it nice and fresh. So you don't wanna put all the syrup you can on there. 
Let's see how this waffle compares to Waffle House. That's actually a really good waffle. That might have done it for me right there. That might have done it for me. Honestly, that waffle is really up there for me. It's not as, it's not better than Waffle House, but it's pretty good. Like, it's great texture. It's got a nice little crunch to it. I'm all about it. This is going to be a very messy bite. I don't know how to eat this. Kristen said, I don't know how to eat it. I said, pick it up. <laughs> Let's see how it goes. Oh, it's already it's falling apart. Bite. You got this. You did that actually gracefully. I'm really shocked. You're a true foodie. <laughs> I surrender. Throwing in the white towel. Can't finish it. So much food. White towel has been thrown. And with that, we are done here today. I love Topolino's. That was fantastic. I loved my whole entire little staycation here at Riviera. It was a lot of fun. We got to try some of the new food at Bar Riva. And the room was amazing. So thank you again to the world of BBC. And if you guys have any DVC questions, please reach out to them. They're all former DVC cast members, so they know everything about it. And even if you are a DVC member and you want to sell your points, you can actually work through them. They'll help you out as much as they can. And uh, yeah, like I said, I'll put all their links in the description. And uh, yeah, we'll call it a night. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye.